Today is the feast of the saints who have no relics since they are pure spirits. They are angels. The word angel means messenger. They are messengers of God to his people. When the message is of great significance for the salvation of mankind, they are called archangels. As in the case of St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael. St. Michael is mentioned in the book of Daniel and in Jude, 1 Thessalonians, and Revelation. St. Gabriel is the angel who brought the message to Mary. St. Raphael is mentioned in the book of Tobit. The angels are frequently mentioned in the New Testament. Angels delivered message to Mary, Joseph, Zachariah, and to the shepherds at Bethlehem. There are angels ministering to Jesus during his 40-day fast in the desert, as well as during his agony in the garden. An angel was at the tomb of Jesus after his resurrection. And in the Acts of the Apostles, Peter was freed from prison by, by an angel. These heavenly spirits, though invisible to us most of the time, are for real. Unfortunately, there are people who think that angels are only for children, but they easily believe in evil spirits and other characters of darkness. That is why stories and movies about vampires, ghosts, and other ghastly creatures are very popular today. And this makes the devil more powerful in our time. And the first likely victims are these people. The angels are concrete proofs of God's love for us. Their mission is twofold. First, to serve God's people. And second, to protect and defend his people against the enemy and from all bodily and spiritually harm. And they always prevail against the forces of darkness because they possess the power of God. As today we celebrate the Feast of the Archangels, let us reflect on two important lessons. First, let us always stay vigilant. St. Peter gives this serious warning. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. God's protection is always with us, especially through his holy angels. The book of Revelation assures us of this. Michael, the prince of the heavenly host, leads in the battle against Satan and emerges victorious. Victory is always certain for us who are on the side of God. And second, the weapon that can finally defeat the devil is no other than humility and obedience to the will of God. If Satan in his pride vows, I will not serve, we in turn should never cease to repeating the Blessed Mother's response to the angel Gabriel, be it done to me according to your word. Humility and obedience are our key to victory. As St. Augustine said, it was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men as angels. Let us then resolve to call upon the angels and archangels all the time. May we never doubt their active presence and divine power in our life.